Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary. Did you remember the best part? Why did you go do the best part? The best part is a side quest. <laughs> I like them. You get to go to, that's the thing about Mass Effect 1 is you get to go to all these planets and land on them. You get to do it a little bit in two. Uh, it's probably like half as much. Um, but the planets are a little better designed. So there's that. Um, let me just brain my way through everybody here and make sure. Yeah, I talked to Joker, first thing. I just wanna make sure at some point, uh, sometimes I keep thinking I gotta go over here because in the next game, when your ship gets a massive redesign, <laughs> wink, wink, <laughs> due to circumstances outside your control, um, there's somebody in here and this becomes a whole new room. Uh, like, it does not stick, it, that, it's just like parallel stairs right now on these two sides here. Um, but in the next game, this becomes its whole own room, like an armory or something. And that becomes just like a loading room, like a loading screen that leads into like a bigger room that kind of like takes up back there, like this quadrant. Anyway. Good timing, Commander. Uh, we got a transmission coming from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Prick. Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. Oh. I'll patch it through to the comrade. Oh, is this is this is this what I thought it was gonna be <laughs> that I was mentioning in the last video? Okay. Commander Shepard. Yes. We received information that may be critical to your mission. There it is. Sorry. <laughs> this is the one that is gonna like. So yeah, I could I could. This is gonna take me to like what's not the final planet, but sort of the final final planet, right? You know, uh, like the second to last planet. Um, that leads into the final planet. And yeah, so here you go. Here it is. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. STG! You mean spies. Spectres what? tend to attract attention, Commander. Why is she mad about that? But they that? are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. Well, yeah, you don't have to explain we to me. We have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Seren. And you didn't tell me? Anyway, <laughs> Shepard's she's such a soldier, right? She's like, spies. I'm like, I'm a specter. <laughs> I guess I specters make waves wherever they go. I don't tend to be sneaky. Um, but yes, spies are an integral part of any military force. Like, why is she getting up in arms about it? What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Sarah, interest. we thought you might want to investigate. This. That's what you call it? Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, then, including verbal. What you should have done, on, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Is since I'm technically the one in charge of the Saren operation, is they should have been given they should have been given like contact like my contact information, and they should have been contacting directly with me, not with the council. If you don't want to be directly involved, then don't become the middleman. You just you guys just made yourselves the middleman. Cut out the middleman and give me the give me the data. Give me the give me the codes. Oh, I don't know why I'm going in here because I don't know where to go. Meow. Meow. All the way out. Okay. Time to pick one. See app. So here it is. Uh oh no, wait. No, that one. Vermeer. So we could go straight to Vermeer, which is a big, like, it makes it sound like it's, like, a final planet, right? You're like, oh, no, we're gonna go freaking, freaking deal with Saren or something there. You could just totally skip one of the other planets, which is just balderdash, I must say. Um, what do we have here? Man. Should I go back, actually, to the Citadel? I haven't. I don't know if Conrad, sh he should actually, he should be, he should show back up again. Especially since I did a main mission. But, didn't I look for this and I couldn't find him? 
Strenuous system in the horse head nebula. I think I did. But maybe now he'll be there? I don't know. Strenuous. Oh no, horse head nebula. Not that one. Yeah, I did. Time to go. Bye bye. And look, we get we get a we get a specialized launching cinematic for each planet you go to. Wait till we get to Novaria. It's a nice planet. An ice planet. It is not a nice planet. I swear, hack it. I was like, I swear, if you freaking. What? Because there was like one of the planets I was looking at and I couldn't freaking land on it. I don't know why. Gas giant. No. Not the gas giant. You're probably too close to the sun. This is a planet I should be able to land on. Hang on, I gotta look this up. Apparently I'm supposed to scan the area and find a derelict freighter and then... Ah! Eh, well, okay then. I did the whole wiggling around thing, but okay. I don't know, I've never had to look this up before. I don't know how, I, I must just get lucky every time and happen to land on it. It's derelict. The compartments are exposed to space. The future plant is leaking. The damage is consistent with ship mounted mass accelerator fire. Faint trail radioactive particles, possibly exhaust from a sublight nuclear engine drive, leads directly to the nearby planet of Zawin. Now we can land on Zawin. Okay. Let's go! And then we'll have a second quest we can drop off at the Citadel. How, how, how handy. What a balanced squad. Oh, I forgot that this game is, is really hard. <laughs> that, I, that I specifically made it hard on myself. Aw, look at all the snow globules. What's over there? Hang on, no, no, no. Don't get distracted. <gasps> level ups. Love level ups. Okay. Um, increases the duration. I don't necessarily want to increase the duration of stasis. It already holds them for freaking forever. But it is nice, like, if you're in the middle of a fight, you're like, okay, quick. Ooh, yeah. Let's actually work our way towards advanced immunity, because apparently he's dying all the time. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's just it's just the way it is. Um, let's put one Aquarian Machinist and first aid. Basic armor? No, first aid. Yeah, and I don't have any points. Map. Oh, so many goodies to look at. Okay, we got stuff here, here, here. This is the, oh, it's a Mert camp. I shouldn't, well, I, I guess from, you could probably tell some things according to, like, I don't like what scans, like, kind of look like, you know, like, like what, like, your, not like radiographic radar, sonar. Electric. I think more like electric. I'm not saying it right, but there's probably a bazillion different scans you can do to try to like create like a um. A, I'm not saying it right, but like a profile. Create a profile of like power sources and stuff, and like that would help you pinpoint what a, what a thing is from what an object is from not what an area is from space, like what it's doing. You know, I'll be like, oh, that looks like a Merc, probably a Merc camp. Anyway, I've spoken too long. Off we go. Oh, man, I know I've, I know I've said it before, but I wish we could leave tracks in the snow. Oh, my gosh, though. This really does look nice. Ancient debris. Like, I know it's just a snow planet, but it looks nice. Oh, no, wait. Insignia, yes! 
money. You get so much money from doing that. Okay. Anomaly, abandoned camp. Let's go to the abandoned camp. I should have looked at the topography. I did not. Alas. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to remember to edit this out, but I <laughs> enjoy this immensely. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there she go. <laughs> Look at her go. <laughs> ah, let me out. Let me out. Oh, uh, there was supposed to be a way, potentially, for me to access photo mode uh, without going into the menu, but I have forgotten it because it's been longer than five minutes and I have the memory of a goldfish. Which I think I learned recently from somebody, I guess he's on TikTok, but I watch his, like, YouTube compilations called Hood, Hood Nature, I think. Not Nature Hood. I think it's Hood Nature, and he, he debunked that five minute goldfish thing. No one left. There's no sign of the foreigner occupants. The camp's computer knows several locations of interest. Thank you for the update. Look at that. Look at glow. Oh, dang. I think that's mining, technically. We'll just make a big, giant circle. I don't know why they would know, well, I do know why they would know mining, and like, interests of, places of interest for mining, and then not mine them, it's because they all died. Anyway, I freaking love summer, and I'm glad that it's summer and it's not winter. A solarian? No, it's human. This person it appears this person was trying to mark the nearby mineral deposit when he died or was killed. Are you coming out for me? Oh, I think this all this I mean, I, I'm pretty sure this all ties into the like why the Okay, um the ship crash. It wasn't just like a random bandit attack. The ship that we were trying to track down um, got too close to like a merc potentially operation. They didn't mean to. They just flew clo too close to the planet or whatever and the mercs were like, nope! We don't want you. We don't want you freaking uh, getting wise to our con or whatever. Whatever mercenaries say. You know. the Mako is riding on the terrain just looks very unrealistic. <laughs> I'm glad we still maintain some unrealism. Like, it's not like digging into the ground at all. It's like it's just like floating. Which I'm gonna always be bitter that they never, that they did not give us a hover vehicle for Andromeda. Have you freaking seen Destiny? They have hover bikes there. Waiting, waiting. Oh, I knew, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Get back in. Get back in. Oh my gosh, get the back in. I knew it. I knew it. I was waiting. I was waiting for a second because I knew it was coming. Yeah. 
Thresher. I, I actually didn't think it was a Thresher bar. I'm not gonna lie though. I thought it was gonna be like Geth or Mercs. I knew it was a trap though. Chose poorly. I chose poorly. I chose poorly. It's red one. <laughs> Messed up. Die. You cannot get out while repairing still, that's fine, that's fair. It's gotta slow you down somehow. Give me this that I fought very hard for. Legitimately wasn't expecting because it's not super flat here, which is kind of nice. They give you the cover that you could want for fighting a fighting a giant worm that spits acid from a vehicle when you're fighting from the vehicle. Come on, baby, we can do it. Whee! I wonder if you could make like an ambiance video. Oh, here we go. Don't even try, nerds. Oh, wait. He's in the trouble. Plus the snipers. Snipers are penetrating my shield, which is a problem. two turrets. Look at that. Somebody's on the roof. Or 
careful. Oh, I think there's turrets on the other side. There they are. saying earlier I don't know if I was saying it or if I was thinking it but it'd be kind of interesting to get like a, an ambiance video of like just the Mako driving on various planets like you spend oh hi uh, alliance heavy turret what's an alliance turret doing out here shooting me mercs freaking murking our stuff it's a good thing rockets move incredibly slowly I don't think this will happen, but I'm kind of hoping when I get out and then come back in after like a loading screen, my Mako will be fixed, but I highly doubt it. It might be fixed if I go back to the... I go back to the... Normandy. Okay, pistols. That's something I can use. Sure. Slightly less accuracy. We'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, here. Whip that. And Rex potentially have a new assault rifle. Nope, nope. All these assault rifles suck. Oh, let's see. I did have a new. Oh yeah, I need to unequip the Thurian gas. You always forget that. High explosive. Ooh. Cryo explosive is nice. When detonated, they're capable of snap freezing nearby targets. That is nice. High explosive, though. We'll just go with traditional grenades. <laughs> no need to get fancy. Let me save. I'll save inside, too, but. Oh boy, I've done this video for 24 minutes, just you guys wait. Oh my gosh, maybe I should actually look at something else, because this fight's probably going to take me six years. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, let's, let's see how this goes. Uh, what do I have equipped? My pistol? Oh, I crouch. Okay. Not that this game's much about crouching, really. Hold the line. Oh, here's my shotgun. We need to get rid of those shields. Actually, let's just have you be stasis. What in tarnation just had what just blew up? Holy cow! Oh my gosh! There's so many Krogan in there! This works. Oh, you freak! Oh, good, I got you. I'm stuck on the moon. There's my shield regen. I like how you turn. He turns his back to me, which is what you do in like uh, at least in the first-person shooter I play. 
turn your back. Rex, go like up there or something. Stop standing in the middle of the doorway. Oh, oh you're still there. Was that like Tally's ability is just being very dramatic? Oh jeez! You must die. Why are you up there? That's not fair. Also, that sniper is using a pistol from the high ground. He's a freaking sniper, and he's using the pistol from the high ground, not the sniper rifle. I can't. Just look. I'll kill you. Highly doubt. I highly doubt that at this rate. There's some okay, this has actually not been too bad. You must die. Whoa! Oh God, I thought there was somebody in here when I opened the door. I made a jail. Yeah, okay. Listen. Come back. Coward. You must <laughs> See if she dies. Oh, okay. Well, fine then. You guys take it. I was gonna see if she died from the fall. They're like, oh, look, you can explode these up here. I'm like, yeah, that's nice. If only I could see them. Sniper rifle, assault rifle, heavy armor, <laughs> but light armor. Not that I can use it. Not that I want it. I want to use medium armor. Well, I'm actually a heavy armor fan, but you know we do we do we do we can. We take we take what we're given. No, William or Willem Willem Willem. I mean, the fingers are wrapped tightly around a small data pad. What? Why did the the controller died? Oh no! You guys are gonna get seasick. Watch this, this is gonna suck. Well, see, I don't know how to. I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't know how to do anything! <laughs> Where's the button? Okay, there we go. Quick, okay. A codex entry, that's it? Alright. Excellent. Okay. I don't know why it died. And it is now acting like everything is fine. Shotgun? Okay, let's... Yeah, fine. Bowie? Oh, sure. The scimitar seems to be Rex's favorite. Anyway, this video has gone on for a little bit of a long time, so we're gonna end it here. But first, we're gonna say thank you to our patrons, um, because in the tier two, the sapling tier and the tree tier, you get an individual shout out. So I want to say thank you to Reese Scalito. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much to Scalamunger. Thank you. Indiv individual thank you. <laughs> um, and in particular, I want to thank Chris, uh, who is the tree tier three tier tier patron. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much. I uh, truly, I legit at this point with just the three of you. <laughs> We can get my my goal of being able to stay in a hotel and record videos I think I was thinking like every three months, so I don't know. That's kind of weird, maybe but um, Every at least at this point every three months I could potentially be able to save up for a cheap hotel and go record other stuff extra stuff besides um, Mass Effect which I only record when I'm at my sister's place. So anyway, thank you guys so much I really appreciate it. It still blows my mind that people want to give me money sometimes for doing this. So thank you again, and I'll see everybody in the next one.